Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. A rude awakening for Donna Cosdor's family early Saturday morning. Around two in the morning, we heard these loud bangs. Those bangs were five bullets right through her front window. It's supposed to be a living room, but we converted it to my grandson's bedroom. Her 11 year old grandson, Jace, happened to be sleeping in a different room because the bullets went through his window into the far wall right above his bed and through the other side. Luckily, my son-in-law has a twin bed and not bunk beds because if somebody had been in that top bunk, they would have been hit. And the alleged shooter did not stop there. He went up the street, he got out of his truck and shot at another house. Then he got back in his truck and took off, drove around the corner and pulled into his driveway. And this guy just went crazy. No one was hit, but 51-year-old John Papalardo, who lives right around the corner, now faces numerous charges. Eight charges of assault by means of a dangerous weapon. He wouldn't show his face in court today. Mr. Papalardo, can you hear me? Yes, sir. For now, Papalardo is being held without bail, and Donna Cosdra is still shaken by what happened. I've been here for 50 years, and nothing like this has ever happened just hoping that they put him away. No motive is known. Papalardo, Papalardo appears in court again next week for a dangerousness hearing. Reporting live in Methuen, Nicole Burley, WCVB News Center 5.